Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the Hater Force and other viewers of YouTube. My name is David Hater Gamer, and today I am back once again from my absence. Only this time, I am ready now to start creating videos again. So, as you guys can tell, the first let's play I'm going to be continuing will be Life is Strange Before the Storm. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Haven't I already finished this game? And I will say yes, I have finished this game. I did an ending for this series. But, if you guys did not know, there is actually a bonus episode that I did not get to do. So, as my comeback and my first video being back here on the channel, I will be continuing that let's play and then possibly moving on later into the future with the newer games from the Life is Strange series. Such as the adventures of Captain Spirit and also Life is Strange 2, which I already know about. And um, yeah, I'm very excited for that. But the main reason why I wanted to make this my first video as a comeback is because, to be honest guys, I've had a pretty stressful week. And on top of that, I haven't really done any Let's Play videos in like two months. So to say that I'm kind of rusty is a little bit of an understatement. Because I've already taken like 15 takes of this so far. It's not even like an exaggeration. And yeah, I'm going to need to definitely start getting back into the swing of things, guys. So um, yeah, sorry about being like three weeks late. I know I said that I was going to do two weeks, but geez louise. I've, I've been having like the worst week ever mentally. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys don't mind. I will be recording the promised Let's Plays I have been telling you guys about, such as the Lisa video series, and um, the Sly Cooper, uh, the the uh, the latest one, the Sly Cooper uh, game. I'll be recording those very soon. But for now, I'm going to be um, continuing Life is Strange, and uh, yeah, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the uh, you know the rest of the video. Because I know that you guys are probably not going to like watching this series. Because I know this is probably like my most uh, underviewed series on this channel. But honestly, I really do like this game. And I hope that those of you who are actually sticking around to watch will enjoy my commentary or whatever is left of it. Because I have a feeling I'm not going to commentate that much. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And yeah, yeah let's continue. Playing Life is Strange Before the Storm. <laughs> Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. That wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen. Oh my god. Okay, so we're playing as Max again, but not Chloe, which is interesting. You're insane. You're insane. That explosion was massive. You say that like it's a bad thing. Pretty sure your mom would think so. Let's yeah. Hope she didn't Max hear. is a straight girl. But she asked and me to get rid of my old Chloe junk. She never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. Probably because I have. I 
can't believe those days are all over now. In a few days, my whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. I better help Chloe with her cleaning. And while I'm at it, I can take one long last look around this place. All right. So we are actually playing as younger Max here, which we haven't done in a while. And yeah, we're apparently, this is apparently taking place before she moves. So before we look around, let's see if we can, oh, cannot do anything. Okay. All right, I guess we'll just look around Chloe's room. Ever since I started taking photos, Chloe's hung them in her room. It's like my own private gallery. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE though. Oh my goodness, she was a pretty much an A-B student. What happened, Chloe? Oh wait, that's right, her, uh, her father passed away. Yep, that'll uh, mess you up really bad. Oh, oh snap, then I realized we're gonna do a contemplative moment here. Whoops, not this it's soon. It's so hard to believe. This room, this house, this town, all in the past now, or soon to be. Who even am I without Chloe? She's the one who's always starting things, pulling us into adventures. I can't imagine life without her. Maybe I haven't told her I'm leaving yet because Damn, I missed this game. All right, let's look around some more. Menagerie of magic. I was lucky to survive Chloe's magic phase with all my fingers intact. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? Uh, you never use it. You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. Okay, so there's a lot of things to look at here, so I'll try to get everything. Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, <laughs> it's kind of cool. Yeah. 
Max's photography career has begun. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. Your child, Chloe Price, has been accepted for September admission to Blackwell Academy. Okay. Your child excelled in all criteria for admission. Okay, so she got accepted into Blackwell. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Hmm? Chloe, oh, no, no, no. you're terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know, I just... I like hanging out with normal people. Like you. Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean. I... I hate fake people. You're real. Thanks. All right. What is here? Firecracker remains. I can never tell if Chloe is my best friend because she makes me do crazy things or despite it. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. Mr. Sharky. I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. <sighs> oh my goodness, we could trash a lot of things. Let's just look around real quick. Well, let's not trash anything yet. Chloe's been beating me for a while. That growth spurt could come any day now. What is you that? I bought this as a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. All right, let's not trash it yet. Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. Sometimes you gotta look up. Anything? Nope. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. <laughs> Shady mesh Abe. Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. Rest in pieces, doll. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Chloenstein's okay. The Adventures of Supermax and Dr. Chloe Stein. Our crime fi fighting has really sp scared. Or uh, what? Our crime fighting has really oh soared since you created those rocket boosters. Of course, the power of flight does tend to make things easier. Dr. Chloe Stein. <laughs> Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. Oh, this was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. 
check it out. <laughs> How about you? Cringe. Uh, totally. Yeah, totally. I've been working on my air guitar. <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> All right. Back to the junk mines. Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever. And I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty glowy bear. Alright, I think that's all the stuff we can see in our room, except we can talk to Chloe. Uh, speak. Why is getting rid of stuff so much harder than collecting it? Maybe because you're an overly sentimental hoarder? How about an old toy that Chloe no longer plays with? Save that hoodie. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. Uh, this game, man. It's too real for me right now. It's too real. Because I just moved out. Oh, God. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? The serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. Lick it. <laughs> You're right. Oh, no. Yes. The never-ending candy lives on. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Trash it. You better not be thinking what I think you are. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <laughs> Sorry, chum. That's better. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. Thank you for letting me know how to progress so that I don't. Oh, whoops. Wait a minute, what else can I throw away? Or possibly throw away. I don't think she's actually going to throw anything away. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. Oh boy. How about this? I know you don't want this. How about these boy band trading cards? <laughs> Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? Uh, yep. You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? <clears throat> I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. All right, what else can we do here? I don't think we can do anything else. I think that's it, guys. I've tried my best to clean this place. I should check in with Chloe now. 
Alright, there's nothing else, so I guess we can move on. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. <laughs> and now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. How about we tell her later? The possibilities are endless. Got anything in mind? Actually, you bet your ass I do. I found this when I was digging around before you got here. You're gonna flip! Do you have any idea what this is? Uh, not really. You're the one with the killer memory. Not me. Very true. One of my finest traits, along with humility. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? The audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain Bluebeard, Bluebeard and Long Matt oh Silver. <laughs> you were such so, You're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek, see mine eyes spot two fair pirate wenches. <laughs> what a <laughs> get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it! All right, all right. <laughs> Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned. The journey will be treacherous and full of <laughs> treachers. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Uh, again, only those with <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And... Uh... Bye. <laughs> Dude, that was... Dorky. <laughs> so dorky. What were we thinking? I thought we were lovable. <laughs> okay, okay, forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. All right. The Bane of Arcadia. Okay, so there's our makeup pirate ship. Oh, nice. Pogo the pirate. <laughs> Pirate rules, no bathing, no boys on the ship, no sharing pirate secrets, always share plunder, always bury treasure, always protect fellow pirates. Failure to obey these rules will, will result in plank walking. Another day of plunder and destruction on the high seas. Our just buried treasure has come under attack again. The evil commander Shelley, enemy to all pirates, has threatened to take the map from us if she sees it. Surely she has heard how valuable our treasure is and wants to steal it from us. We are doing our best to keep the map hidden as we continue to work on it. Because our enemies want our treasure so bad, we must make sure the map is only readable to us. 
Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. To more plunder and riches. Captain Bluebeard. Uh, Long Max this Silver. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? All right. Time to find this map. Maybe it's under here. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Oh, Instead, crap. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. <sighs> Maybe we can talk to her again? Any luck? <sighs> nope. You? Nothing yet. Okay, I guess we actually have to find it. Oh! Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Oh, the Chloe. Okay, sure. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> I try. Let me see that photo. Dang it. I want to see it. I remember writing this. It's a story where you choose what happens. Wonder if I could still get to the end. Uh oh. You are Max and Chloe, the best friends and students in school. You sit in the class until suddenly a cute squirrel arrives at the window. It's so cute. Do you want to pet it? Pet the squirrel. Page eight. Don't pet the squirrel. Page three. Page 8. Alright, we'll play this game. You go to the window and pet the squirrel. Of course, why wouldn't you? It's a cute squirrel and you want to pet it. Hey, Mr. Squirrel, you say. Ah, stop biting me, you say next. Because the squirrel is now biting your hand. But it's too late. You have rabies. Mrs. Anders has to shoot you so you don't bite anyone else. This makes her very sad. I guess you shouldn't have pet the squirrel. The end. Oh, no. Okay. Don't pet the squirrel, then. Okay, page three. Why don't you like squirrels? They're so cute and nice. You must be very mean. The squirrel seems to know that you ignored her. Uh, she runs in and steals the book report right off your desk, then runs back outside. That squirrel stole my book report, you tell the teacher. Uh-oh, whatever you say, Mrs. Anders responds, clearly not believing you. What do you do? Uh, we'll chase the squirrel. As soon as Mr. Anders turns around, you run out the window and chase a squirrel. That is a very bad thing to do and hope you will you don't you don't get in trouble later, but you probably will. Outside you look around, but you can't find a squirrel. Is she gone? Oh there she is, she's standing next to a sewer hole. You run up to her, but she gets scared and jumps down. Oh boy, do you really want to go down there? Uh well jump down the sewer. You are a very stupid nope. Not stupid, brave. You leap down into the sewer. Thankfully, there's a pile of trash, banana peels, and dirty diapers to lean on. Whew. You hear a squirrely sound in the distance, so you run to follow it. There are many twists and turns. Eventually, you come to a fork in the road. But now is not the time for uh, eating, so you put the fork back down and consider the two paths in front of you. On the ground, you see a trail of tiny footprints to the left, and a trail of chewed up paper to the right. Which way do you go? We'll go to the right, page 7. Smart choice, you go to the right, following the path of chewed papers. After a bit of walking, you end up in a dark corner. Suddenly, the floors fall away. You find yourself swimming in some sort of warm liquid, almost like a big puddle, except why does the liquid taste like acorns? A big, a bright light comes on. It turns out you're not in a puddle. You're in a big bowl of acorn soup. And all around you are squirrels holding spoons and t wearing tiny little aprons. They look so cute, and the soup keeps getting hotter. Guess you weren't too smart after all. At least you'll be delicious. Oh uh, man, we came squirrel soup. Okay, how about we go to the left then? Page nine. You picked right. I mean left. Which was right? It's confusing. In the distance, you see the squirrel, but he's not moving. In fact, he's dead. 
Who would kill a poor squirrel? Suddenly the ground begins to shake. Around the corner, a giant rat appears. This is the biggest rat you've ever seen. The biggest anything you've ever seen. It's the Rat King. The Rat King is wearing a crown and standing on the throne of all your missing homework, including your book reports. What do you do? Run towards it. Your dad always tells you to run towards your problems, not away from them. Unfortunately, you picked a really bad time to start listening to him. You run right towards the Rat King. At first, he seems surprised. You try to punch him in his face, but you forgot about his long, hairy, gross tail. He wraps you up like a boa constrictor and drops you into his mouth, swallowing you with one gulp. Now you get to see what the inside of a rat looks like. This would make a great science report. Too bad you won't be alive to tell anyone. Alright, never mind then. How about run away? Page 5. You run away like a scaredy cat. I don't blame you. That thing is gross. As you run, you almost trip a on a small, shiny object. You pick it up. It's a lighter. Your mom never lets you play with these. But she's not here right now, is she? Now is your chance to kill the Rat King and protect all the students' homework once and for all. This is your chance to be a hero. Do you do it? Just kidding. You don't get a choice. You may get to choose some things, but I'm still the author here. You have to attack the Rat King, but how do you want to attack him? Burn his tail! You decide to burn his gross, long, hairy tail. Good plan. Whoosh! The king's tail is on fire. He does not like that one bit. He starts freaking out, waving his tail around like crazy. You know, all the trash and dirty diapers in the sewer, those are highly in inflammable, which means the same as flammable for some reason. Suddenly, the entire sewer catches on fire. You're surrounded by gross sewer flames. Is this really how you die? Burning to death with the Rat King and the disgusting sewer? Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness. Okay, how about burn his throne? You decide to burn the Rat King's throne. It hurts you to burn all that amazing homework, including your wonderful book reports, but you remember that it's for a good reason. As soon as the throne catches on fire, the Rat King begins screaming, No, my throne! And suddenly, the Rat King begins to shrink. Before long, he is back to the size of a normal rat. He can't even climb out of his huge crown. Oh, he's so cute now. You run to class and tell Miss Anders all about the Rat King and everything that happened. Not only does she forgive you for not having your book reports, but she declares you are the greatest hero in the school. Duh, the end. Until the next Max and Chloe adventure. Okay, so wait a minute. Let's go back to the beginning. I know we missed some things here. So we don't pet the squirrel. How about we just stay in class? You decide not to chase the squirrel. When the time comes to present your book reports, you tell Miss Anders that the squirrel stole it and ran away. She doesn't believe you, remember? I told you, she doesn't believe you. Why don't you listen? You should pay more attention. Anyway, Miss Anders told you to reports you to the principal, and soon you are kicked out of school for being a bad student. Without school, you can't ever get a job or make money. Now you live in a shack without TV and do drugs. Soon you'll be dead. Guess you don't pay attention. The end. Work, work. Okay, um... So we already did this. We already seen that. Find another way, page six. I don't blame you. That sewer looks that sewer hole looks pretty scary, but is there another way down? Suddenly a light bulb appears above your head. You use it to light the way back to your house and into your bathroom. You step one foot into the toilet and flush, whoosh. Next thing you know, you are in the sewer on the ground, you see a Trail of tiny footprints to the left and the trail shoot up paper to the right. Which way do you go? Oh, I see. Okay, so I think we've seen it all. This is so inventive, Maxine and Chloe, but next time, please do the book report you were assigned, Mrs. Anders. Oh, yes! Take that, Rat King. <laughs> oh, wow. That was great. Lie down again. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Hmm, school supplies. Where is it? 
Oh, uh, okay, I see. I think this was the first class Chloe and I had together. Not sure I learned much about the stars and stripes. Bingo. Oh, shoot. Chloe's secret lair. Dark cavern. Amulet inside there. Treasure island. Price castle. Huh. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet. Which we hid inside a dark cavern, a.k.a. the attic. Ugh, why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. <laughs> still scary? Was. <laughs> Your attic is still terrifying. <laughs> it's been five years, Max. I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Time to face your fears, then. Oh, okay. hell nah. And once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! Watch your Chloe mouth. seems so into this. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. 